David Barnson joins me now. I keep hearing talk that there's a 25% chance or a 35% chance of recession. That's all nonsense to you, isn't it? Well, don't you think it should be 27.3% <laughs> or 30%? Uh, th these things drive me crazy, Stuart, as you know. Um, they're so random and arbitrary, unhelpful. And I want listeners to know, every day you wake up, there's a 20% chance of a recession. Any kind of world event or unexpected circumstance can come and push the economy into contraction. Um, so the w big Wall Street firms saying this have to have something to say, but it doesn't mean anything. What we know, and it frustrates a lot of people, is that it's a mixed bag in the economy right now. There are some positive attributes and there are some negatives, and we've been in that tug of war of economic data for a long time. Do you think this rally has legs? Um, no, well, I think that what's very interesting over the last few weeks is that this rally has not been dependent on the very overpriced technology names getting more overpriced. Yep. That the market has done real well with energy, financials, consumer staples. That's a good thing. We're, of course, going to see what NVIDIA announces tomorrow. But your Microsofts and Amazons over the last month have really struggled, even True. though the market has really rebounded. And I think that that's what we have to see is what the market can do without big tech, because there are some big tech names that are brutally overpriced. But I, I just want to make it clear that this Wall Street has been an extraordinary wealth creation machine over the past 10, 12 years. You'd agree with that, I think. Uh, no, over the last 10 to 12 centuries and 10 to 12 centuries to go. You can't have capitalism without capital markets. Wall Street is a euphemism for financial markets, and they are a blessing to all of us. Let's get back to David Barnson, who has brought with him a couple of uh, dividend picks. I see you've gone back to our old favorite Chevron, David. Well, you know, the, the issue with Chevron is that the energy sector is very healthy right now, and the stock is not back to its all-time highs, it's still offering a 4.5% dividend. They're going to close on their buy of Hess. They bought Noble drilling during the, uh, during the COVID moment, so they've just picked up a ton of market share, and we think it's still underpriced. So you're right. We're, we've been longtime holders of Chevron. We will be for years to come. Gilead Sciences, I know you like them. Yeah, we sure do. I just want to point out it's the leading biotech company when it comes to HIV treatment. They have a huge market presence in HIV, and they've added a lot in oncology. You get over a 4% dividend yield. They're growing it like crazy. Uh, this is just a really impressive name that I don't think the price reflects how good of a company it is. All right, David, we'll take it. David Bonson, everyone, thanks so much for joining us, David. We'll see you again real soon.